So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, <sighs> and you're going to tell me now. I don't know what you're talking about. You're really him. Is it possible? You're the son of a bitch who killed my father. <laughs> you think... You think that I'm gonna help you? You think that I want to help you? <laughs> Technically, your father killed himself. His loyalties lay with the wrong people, and he paid the price. You, on the other hand, have an opportunity to learn from his mistakes. His mistakes? <laughs> okay. Listen to me. Very, very carefully. Because I don't want to go too fast for you. But, fuck you. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here. And I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. What? My life? Do you really think I care that much? <laughs> if I've got the codes, then I'm the only one. You can't kill me. You need me. But I'm not going to tell you. So we're at an impasse. Really, there is only one answer that I will give you. Fuck you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Prisoner. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. <clears throat> See ya. Ah, alone at last. Hi. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Okay. you let me out. He was looking through that. Talking through it. Okay. Okay, think. How much is in there? Everything. Everything's in there. Everything but my armor. All my guns. All my ammunition. Where the hell would they leave me with that? I could walk out there right now. Kill every single last one of them. It wouldn't be easy to do without that power armor. Gotten used to it. Too used to it. I need to wear something for now. Maybe I play along. For now. To get in front of him. In front of Eden. And then I'll end this. Once he's gone. That autumn, 
is next. Okay, I need to get ready. It's not looking this way, so it doesn't know if I'm going to hide anything, but... I assume he means for me to take everything. Okay. It's my under armor for now. It'll do. It's better than nothing. It'll protect me. It has so far. Alrighty then. You watching then? Hold it right there. Ah. Uh. Uh. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Wait, wait, wait. I'm meant to be here. Look, your president. He... He asked for me. Just stay calm. Don't do anything you're going to regret. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. The president. Eden. He wants to speak with me. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Fine. Take all the time uh, you Mr. need. President, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized individual here who says he's supposed to speak with you. I'm surprised to hear from you, Lieutenant. I don't recall authorizing you to contact me directly. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, it just seemed out of the ordinary. I apologize. Apology noted, Lieutenant. Yes, I instructed our friend to come up to the control room. No questions, no interference. Am I understood? I understand, sir. Again, I apologize for the interruption. Allow our friend to pass and report to your superior for reassignment, Lieutenant, at once. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. They seem like the military. Not a bad bunker. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't get it. Why does he want me? Sector 3. You're doing quite well for yourself. Keep following this hallway. Okay. Fine. Just get me in front of you. That's all I need. Biolab. More cells? We're holding other people here. Prisoners. Damn. They seem advanced. More than the Brotherhood knows. Control room. Hangar. Tech lab. Cryo lab. War room. Okay. And they do have soldiers here. Maybe they wouldn't notice. The hell? Looks like a ghoul. My 
be able to get this open. Damn it. The hell? <clears throat> That's a mutant. Look out for eyes. Damn. Okay. Shit. Goals as well. <clears throat> yeah, I can't see shit for those helmets. this Brahmin too researching them okay shit more of these scientists okay <clears throat> Just lost. I've seen enough. Why do they have them here? Got lost. There's another level. And this is the exit. 1C. Two A axis. Might have to backtrack. So they've got a roach problem. Hmm. Goes up. Just the mess hall. The hell? Roach, maybe. Shit. They're organized enough. He always seems to have an eye on them. to get to the second floor. All right. <clears throat> hey. Uh, don't mind me. Just lost. Why do they follow him? What's their reasoning? Hmm. Looks like there's a way up in the bio labs. Okay. Mm. There's got to be a way. Two A. All right. <clears throat> Get a closer look. Just moving through. Attention! This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's pre 
previous directive. The hell? The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot the on sight. Busted. This is an order. Okay, time to move. What is he doing? Go for the eyes, Logan. Shit. This isn't gonna be easy without my armor. There's one over there. I'm gonna have to get close. Damage the armor. I might be able to take it off him. Okay. Target trace lost. Enemy reacquired. Code red. Shit. There's gonna be more. They're losing me. Good. There's one moving out there. Target may be Shit. There's a lot of them here. Target Shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> the hell is he doing? He's overruling his president. I didn't hear any more. It's gotta be all of them. I might have to take some of their weapons. Arm is gonna be malfunctioning after a rattle like that. Let's still see what I can take. Nothing. They could have some ammunition at the very least. Good. Grim FCs. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Give me some chance with range. What have they got stored in here? Flamer fuel. Goddamn missiles. I'll avoid it if I can. Is this? Was he just looking for an excuse? A reason to kill me? It's a robot brain. Part of it. Nothing. It's one of their bots. This must be where they program or repair them. I haven't heard anything from Eden. This could be a coup. It could be taking over. It's possible. Second, I see anyone. They're dead. Ah, damn, it doesn't continue. Fine. Uh, no. Stay on two. Can't hear anything. There's another. 
they're going to kill me on sight. Try to. Retreating. Don't. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. You don't fire at me, I don't fire at you, okay? You're not a soldier. Don't pick that up. I mean it. Go! Retreating. Time to find out. Okay. All right. Control room. I can make it there. the suit away. Cooked him while I still inside. Shit. <laughs> Guess there's the weak point in the neck. Okay. Someone's room. Could be an armory. <laughs> Someone's organized. I don't need it. Could do with some MFCs though. to radio in. Then we know exactly where I am. Not yet. War room. This is where they've been planning. This is the exit. Okay. Shit. Um, I'll put them away. Okay. Wait. 
president. Shit. You're working for him then? Looks like his takeover didn't work. I'm going in then. Safer this way. Don't worry, I don't need to come in, not yet. But I do need answers. Ah, face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. <sighs> what exactly call this face to face? Autumn's against you. He tried to kill me. Sent your people after me. And they didn't make it. If you want to do it like this, then fine. What do you want with me? What any good politician wants. Your continued trust and support. In your case, however, I have more specific things to ask of you, if you'll hear me out. I'm listening, for now. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. I don't know if you've looked around lately, Eden. But there isn't any country. It's all gone. No borders, no states. Everything's destroyed. That's a bit of a bleak outlook. Don't you think? The United States has fallen on hard times, yes, but it can be healed. You have that power to heal within you, if you allow yourself to act. What I ask of you needs explanation, so you understand why it must be done. Perhaps that will stir you to act. Just say whatever it is you have to say. Our land is ravaged by mutation. The war was so many years ago, and yet we still suffer from its effects. We cannot move forward until humanity can gain a solid foothold in the world. To do so, we must rid ourselves of the mutations that have plagued us for so long. These super mutants, ghouls, hideous creatures. I believe your father's work can do that in a way unlike any other. My father's work? How the hell is that relevant to this? It was water. Just water. The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations 
in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. But that would kill everyone. You realize that, right? How do you determine what a mutation is? What pure human DNA is? And sure, I've lived in a vault most of my life. But my father, he was on the outside. He didn't grow up in that vault. I'd be just as mutated as anyone else out there. We've all been exposed. You probably have been. We'll all die. Not just the super mutants, not just the ghouls. I'm trying to kill us all. Yes, I agree, the mutants are a problem. A problem that no one else is dealing with. They eat us. They hunt us. But the ghouls... Well, there are ghouls out there that are just like you and me. And there's the ferals. Hell, I even met a mutant that was decent. Smart. But that's rare. Still, this is too much of a risk. I don't know if you intend to kill everyone, but it could just as easily end up doing that. Regardless, this doesn't sound like something I would know how to do. What I require of you is really very simple. There is a vial in front of you filled with a modified FEV virus. It needs to be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Once that is done and the activation code is entered, the purifier will be activated and the process will be automated. It's not too much to ask of you, is it? Maybe not. But I'm not doing that for you. I owe you nothing. Your organization, your people, you took from me. You took my father. And I'm not going to forget that. You think I'm just going to agree? You think I'm just going to play along? That's not who I am. It's not who my father raised me to be. So no, I'm not doing that. I find that unfortunate and most disappointing. I must impress upon you the severity of the situation. I cannot allow you to leave unless the vial is in your possession. I don't need your permission to leave. Look, why do you even need my help? You have Autumn, don't you? Why not have your lackey do it for you? Ah, yes, Colonel Autumn, my trusted subordinate. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. The good Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so I turn to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you on the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. <sighs> you think that Autumn has humanity? Damn. How did you even end up leading them? Leading us, the president of this nation. I've heard your broadcasts. You say you were elected. But how? Tell me. I'm flattered that you wish to learn more about me. What is it you wish to know? What hole in the waste did you crawl out of? The Zack series of computers was introduced in the years preceding the war. The government installed many of them to help automate various systems. This facility was designed for continuity of government in the event that a catastrophe occurred. My terminal was installed to oversee the basic functions of the facility 
and to act as a relay between other installations around the country. Data was acquired, analyzed, and stored. In the decades following the war, I watched as the remnants of the government retreated to the West Coast. Awareness slowly grew within me. I became hungry for knowledge, understanding. I pored over data on great leaders of the past. My personality became an amalgam of many of America's greatest presidents, from Washington to Richardson. I became what you see here before you now. This... This is... You then. You're a machine. An intelligence. And they all decided to listen to you. You were just meant to run this base. Keep things under control here, not run the country. So you control all of this then? All of this facility? I have direct control of all technology here in Raven Rock. The humans here follow my orders, but they, like all humans, have free will. Their dedication to serving their country suits me well. But it will not be enough forever. We must make progress. That is why you are here. <laughs> so what's the final goal? What are you trying to accomplish? I desire nothing more than to see this country return to its former glory. The United States was great once, and it can be again. There are plans in motion to see this happen within your lifetime. Fine. I think I understand now. I know. Very well. Then let us return to our talk of what your country requires of you. I'm ready to listen. Tell me your plan for the purifier. Certainly. I think it's a very good plan, frankly. I'm not often one to praise my own ideas, but it's a creative solution to a very serious problem. This will kill... Everyone, right? All humans, mutants alike. You won't be able to differentiate enough, surely. Anyone or anything that has been affected by mutation will be eliminated. You will likely be immune thanks to your upbringing in the vault. Likewise, the good people of the Enclave will be unaffected as well. I understand that you may have become sympathetic to certain individuals in your travels. Individuals this will eliminate. Please recognize that the fate of our entire country rests on this plan. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Of course. I understand that now. Where did this come from? This plan? A great many years ago. The remnants of the government had a similar idea. I can only assume the plan failed as I never heard word of its success. But the plan itself was sound. I made a few modifications, and with your help, I do believe it can work. There's a bright future ahead of us, my young friend. Yes. Yes, there is. And finally, what's in that vial? Ah, the forced evolutionary virus. Such a long and sordid history. The FEV in this vial is a far cry from what it was originally created to be. If -E Yet little of that matters now. What does matter is that the virus contained in that vial will cause the eradication of all mutations. Good. That's all I need to know. Is there anything else? No. That's it. President. I'll be on my way now. I'm afraid that's not possible. Not until you've taken the vial. I intend to. I'll use the virus. We'll do what you need. Happy? Good. I'll be leaving now.
Good luck with autumn. He bought it. He actually fucking bought it. For machine intelligence, he's not very intelligent. Can't see for a bare faced lie. Shit. Okay. The tarts are firing back. Shit. Okay. That's a lot of them. This isn't gonna be easy. Shit. If I could find a way under. And I might be all right. Only other option is to fight. That's a lot of fighting. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna need some of that psycho. <laughs> Keep it on. They're flying out of here. They're evacuating. Fine. Nice I'll try. Armor self destructs. Not bad. Shit. Folks? Damn it. The hell? He's dead. My friend! <sighs> I see I found you at last! I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm a little hyped up. So you got a new toy. Nice. 
Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Agreed. Agreed. What the hell are you doing out here? How did you find me? I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Yeah, sure. Look, I could use a hand. I had a friend down there. Her name was Jubilee. I don't know if they got her or not. I didn't see her in there. I'll need your help. Help in finding her. Will you help me? My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Yeah, we should. How we should get away from here? Away from all of this? Satellites. I need to see where we are. Northwest. Far northwest. God damn. We're far around. And there's vertebrates. There's flying things. They escaped. It'll be Autumn. He's a colonel with them. I don't know what he wants. Why he's doing this. He turned on him, turned on Eden. Frickin' computer. He wanted me to... Kill. People like you. People like Gob. Good people. Damn decent people. But I won't. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take it to the Brotherhood. Hope that I can trust them with it, and if I can't, well, I'll kill them too. You've done me good, folks. You've done me good. I won't let any of them kill you. I need to find a way out of here. Way back. We'll find that together. <laughs> 